Example six, we have the population of butterflies is decreasing continuously. There we go. So right away we have a equals a naught e to the rt as a yearly rate, okay, so t is in years, of 1.8, and because it's decreasing, that's a negative 0.018. We have 237,000 butterflies now. We want to know how many butterflies did we have 10 years ago. Okay, so there's t two different ways you can set up this problem. We can let the 237,000 be our initial amount, in which case we want to know how many butterflies we had 10 years ago. And that's a negative 10 for the years. We can plug in our values. We get A equals 237,000 times e to the negative 0 0.018 times 10, negative 10. We get a equals 237,000 times e to the positive 0 0.18. a equals 237,000 times 1.1. 97. So A equals 283,740.5, or we can round that to say 283,741 butterflies. And looking at that number, that makes sense. Ten years ago, we should have more butterflies than we do now if the butterfly population is decreasing. Well, that was the first way we could solve. We could also solve, we still use the same general equation of a continuous rate. We have the same rate. However, let's say that that 237,000 is 10 years into the future. And we want to know the initial population. Well, so A is the 237,000, and T is now a positive 10 because we're going forward in time. We get 237,000 equals A naught times E to the negative 0 0.018 times a positive 10. 237,000 equals A naught times E to the negative 0 0.18. 237,000 equals A naught times, let's just plug this into our calculators real quick, 0 0.836. I want to divide both sides by that number, so I get A naught equals 237,000 divided by 8 point, or 0 0.836, which equals 283,740.5, or again, we round up to 283,741 butterflies. Either way, we get the same question, the same answer. It really depends how you want to interpret the question, how you want to set up your problem, and what makes the most sense to you.